Hey guys, uh, Hidden Abilities here, and <laughs> there's my recorder, <laughs> and welcome to episode 2, or part 2, of Web Programming Basic. So, in uh, today's episode, we'll start from scratch again, but this time we're not going to be poking around, we're actually going to be designing something, you know, something that doesn't look too bad, not too shabby, you know, uh, just pretty good, you know, it looks alright, you know, and stuff. <laughs> So first off, begin your document with an HTML code. Then the header. Then the title. Let's make the title say, uh, My First uh, Project. Second title. Uh, wait, we, we need to, uh, okay. Link uh, REL equals, not plus, style, dang it, sheet, type equals text slash CSS. Um, okay, href equals style.css. So let's link that, and now let's end that off. No, not read. <laughs> go about two lines down, then go to body, and then let's begin our programming, all our web designing itself. Go over to here to uh, the CSS, the style.css, make body uh, background CCC. Well, I'm actually going to make this look a little less sloppy, you know, so. Okay. Uh, color, make it, this will make it black. Just keep it black. Actually, yeah, let's just keep it black. Why not? Mm, let's not do any text shadow. Let's just keep that part basic. This time, we'll be using a class. So, call it dot top. Because this is going to be the top, uh, the top bar. Width. Make about 500. Let's make the width 500. I yeah, might as well. You know. And we're going to align it with the center. So margin, you would do auto. Just type it auto. And color, or okay, background, number EEE. -E -E. Make it a little bit brighter for the background. Is there anything else we want to add to this? Okay, let's make a set height too. So go back over here. Height. Let's make it 48, no, let's make it 36 pixels high, actually uh, 32, and then we would do, well, let me explain what this is, this is padding, it, in, uh, it indents the text instead of the text or whatever content being the top left, you know, you would kind of align it a little more, I'll show you an example of that later, just make the padding about 6, uh, wait, make it 4, yeah, make it Ah, make a uh, uh, four padding. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, I guess we're complete about that much. Save that, and let's test this out. Um, div class this time equals top. Case sensitive, remember. Okay. Well, my content here. Second div thing or whatever. Dive. Uh, the ending of the div tab, ending body tab, and ending html tab. Save this, and let's test it. My content here. You can see it's uh, it's it's quite centered, <laughs> say the least. So this time, make it. Uh, let's go with 26 and make the padding actually 12. You can see it kind of goes in there, and the height. Let's kind of reduce that a little more to 20. There you go, that looks good right there. Uh, this will be where your links are and stuff like that. You know, your, uh, yeah, <laughs> links. So, let me, let me actually explain links and how they work. To make a link, you would type, well, you'd make a little, uh, tab thing, and you would type A, H-R-E-F, which is the area you're linking to. Let's make a link to YouTube. So, uh, YouTube.com slash hidden ability. A uh, link to my page. You end it off, and then you type what you want your link to say. Uh, my link one, for example. And then you would end it off with an ending A uh, tab. Save that. Test it out. My link one. And as you can see, it goes to the YouTube, which I'm not going to display anything because copyright. I don't know if uh, there will be any advertisements or anything. Well, no, it's on my channel, so I guess I can display it to show you how it works. Hey, my channel. I don't know, there was copyright on the favorites. Hopefully that doesn't count, or 
yeah, for anything. But anyways, it's all right. It's okay. I'm pretty sure it's not that strict. So, regardless, uh, you know what? There might not have been copyright. I didn't. I didn't even take a look at the uh, favorites. Well, regardless, if there is, uh, I'll review it and just cut this out or cut the uh, part out or blur it out. Some video editor or something. So there won't be any copyright if there was. <laughs> uh, anyway, back to <laughs> back on topic. We're gonna make a border. Border, solid. Uh, I guess I'll go over the border types. There's dotted, and there's I think there's lined. I think it is. And I, there's I think there's a double border. But uh, for now we're just gonna go with solid. Solid one pixel. Uh, what color should it be? Number zero zero zero. Let's make it black. And there you go. There's your border. Now what? Uh, copy this exact code and then paste it about two lines down but in, rename it to instead of dot top name it uh, let's say hmm let's just name it hmm. eh, let's just name it center why not I was thinking of uh, dot, I, I don't know I was indecisive for a second there now this time make the width about 520 this time. Uh, everything else remains the same except for the height. Get rid of the height. The height needs to be auto. Okay. So, save this. And then, after that DIV has ended, go a couple lines down, make another one. Class equals center. So, okay. I can now place content. And off the div, and there you go. Although it's a little off, so margin auto. Then you would do top negative or top. Let's just go with uh, two pixels. Two pixels top. I believe this is the correct way of doing it. And no, it's not. I may make some uh, smaller. There we go. Margin top two pixels. And there you go. Yeah, that looks pretty alright, I guess. If you want to make it kind of go into the other one, you just make a negative two pixels. And then there you go. That actually looks a lot better. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's actually make it four pixels. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I like that. That's actually quite good. Well, a lot better. <clears throat> uh, next time I'll go over box shadow in the next episode. But for now, let's just continue on with this. What to think Box Shadow is CSS3 and will not work with Internet Explorer, maybe. I definitely could be incorrect, though. Um, now let's make a... Let's copy this thing, the exact same, pretty much, and name it dot .bottom. Okay, uh... Jeez, I keep saying um. I really do apologize. I know that's kind of annoying. Trying, I'm doing my best. <laughs> Don't hate me. Now that was very uh, unprofessional, but you know, what was I just gonna do here? I was gonna change something, but I'm not really quite sure. Okay, here, margin, bottom. Let's make that negative. Let's also make that negative four pixels. Save that. Now that you ended off this DIV, once again, go down about two lines. Make the other one. Class equals bottom. Uh, okay. Make an and copy, which that'll create a copyright symbol. 2011. Your name there. You know. All rights reserved. Whatever you want to put. And then end off your DIV. That should create a uh, little bottom thing here. That actually looks like complete. That actually looks cool. That, I am not going to lie, that actually looks cool. Margin, I put margin bottom, I'm sorry, margin top. That actually does not look that bad. Now, I think there's a Z depth, is it called? Oh, uh, wait, Z index. No, I know it's, I know there's a, uh, there's a way you can actually change what's, uh, which is higher or lower but instead we're just gonna do it this way and hang on uh, 
uh, get rid of the margin top. And you would do border. Okay, you keep that, and then you would border top none. Now there you go. It actually kind of looks like it's behind that now. Uh, we should actually shrink it a little. 18. Yeah, that, that looks a lot better. That looks more like it's kind of in behind the content, but it's actually not. Now, I'll explain placing images, but I don't actually have any image right now, so I'll just kind of explain it with craptastic results. Well, with no actual image to be displayed, but... So you do an IMG tab, uh, SRC equals, and then URL here, which is the link where your image would be. So, for example, if we had an image saved, myimage.png, for example, or if it's on a website, HTTP uh, website.com, or whatever it is, slash whatever image.jpg, for example, uh, that might actually be a real website, so I'm actually going to delete that. Uh, anyway, yeah, you put the link there, but we don't actually have an image right now, so... And you can actually modify the image. You can actually change its original size, so... You can say width equals... 500... No, let's just go... 250. Uh, height equals... 150, for example. You would save that. And there you go, there's your image. As you can see how the content kind of stretched out too. And you can just line break that. And there you go. To center text or an image, you would simply, for the image you would go align equals center. Oh nope, I was actually wrong. I apologize about that. For the text you would do text align equals center. If you just want to align, uh, align <laughs> if you just want to align this, uh, that text in the center, wait, I put quote there, didn't I? I apologize, and it's still not working for some reason. Maybe things have changed since the last time. Well, we'll figure that out later. Hmm. You can also do this. Align. Equals center. You can also make a uh, fake little div and you just delete the uh, text thing. Yep, you can also you can center stuff that way. Create a small little div and then you can align stuff. See, that's that's the beauty of working through errors. I mean, like I said, you know, well, I probably didn't say this yet in this one, in this. Uh, tutorial but I guess I'll just say it now <laughs> there will if I haven't already said it anyways there will be errors in my programming I always makes an error makes an error listen to my English but I always find a way to fix it as well um, through massive frustration probably sometimes but it doesn't matter I mean I won't frust I won't get frustrated in the videos or anything but for every error we will find a way out of it <laughs> now let me explain headers Okay, I'll, I'll delete this part, and I'll explain headers. You got H1, which is the largest header. My header. H1. And if you do anything else like H2, 3, 4, it'll get smaller and smaller as you go. See, so watch. H2 is a little bit smaller. Now, to modify these, you can do this. You can, you can do, okay. H, crap. H1, comma, H2, this is grouping, H3, H4, and then you would say color, just make it, uh, just keep it black. You would, you, you can also do font, I'll, I'll explain font weight, font weight, bold, you know, you can, you can have it bold, uh, font, I think it's font style. Italic, I believe. I can't remember how this one is actually there, so I'll make that some other time. So, this is make font bold. It's already bold, but yeah, that's how you would change things. Font size. 12 pixels, for example, to see if this is working correctly. Yep, it's working. 
Okay. The font weight is how dark the, the font and how strong the font is, I guess. So, let's make the first header. Let's make these headers uh, each. Oh, no. Just for testing purposes. 16. I really need to enable font smoothing. Now, background images. I'm kind of going random here now. Uh, you would do back ah, background image and then write in URL and then in parentheses you would put the link here. Uh, image, and make sure you have quotes. Link. And then there you go. That would be your background image. But since we don't have one, it's not going to exist. But that's how you would change your background image. What else can I go over? Well, I already been through uh, all that. Hmm. Yep. Oh no. Um. But yeah. I guess that'll be it for the, uh, this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you guys next time. And next time I'll go over a lot more. The next time I'll go over how to change your links, the color of them, and stuff like that make hover effects and stuff like that. Alright guys, thank you all for watching. See you guys next time.